Good morning, all donations. Sorry, I uh, missed my cue on that we were live and you were with me. So, <laughs> But I am so happy that we are and that you are, um, especially to all of my young friends this morning. I was um, just going over this game I want to play with you. So um, it's going to be a guessing game. I'm going to read um, a quote from somebody and you are going to guess who said it, okay? So we've got just a couple to go through, and then we'll talk about it. So, all right, here's the first one. To infinity and beyond. Do you know who said that? I've got it. You can think for a moment. That one was Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, right? I bet most of you knew that. Okay, how about, here's another one. This is another one, uh, another good one. Just keep swimming. You know who said that? Dory in Finding Nemo. She sings, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, right? Okay, here's another one. I'm going to try to do the voice for you. It's giving you a big, an extra, an extra clue. Ready? Me want cookie. Who says that? Cookie Monster. Okay, I have one more, and this one may be a little bit harder, but maybe not. I don't know. I think you're probably all watching these movies a lot right now. Some people are worth melting for. Do you know who said that one? Some people are worth melting for. That was Olaf in the first Frozen movie. Now, if you're like my kids, we've been watching the second Frozen movie a whole lot, but, um, but Olaf said that in the first movie. I bet you knew most of those. And, um, and what's the reason that you know them so well is because when we find movies that we really, really like, then we watch them over and over. We spend a lot of time with those characters. And so we know about them. We know the things that they say. We know what they do. We know what their personalities are. All of these made-up characters on TV or in movies, we know so much about them that we can hear somebody like me say things that they say, and we know almost right away, oh, I know exactly who said that. Cookie Monster always wants cookies. That's, that's got to be Cookie Monster. Well, today is also Good Shepherd Sunday. And on Good Shepherd Sunday, Jesus talks a lot about sheep and shepherds. And what he tells us is that sheep will always listen to their shepherd's voice. When they build that good relationship with their shepherd who takes care of them, well, they, they know his voice so well because they spend so much time with him. And they trust him and they know that he's going to protect them. And so they hear his voice and they respond right away. They, they hear that voice among all sorts of other people talking and they know exactly which one is their shepherd. Jesus compares himself to that kind of shepherd who spends all of that time with his sheep, getting to know them, having them hear his voice and recognize his voice, know the things that he's saying. So... Um, I gave you a good lead-in on this one, so I set you up really well. We're going to play one more part of this game, and I'm going to have you guess who said this, okay? Love each other as I have loved you. Can you guess who said that one? I bet all of you know the answer. Jesus. Jesus said that we need to love each other as he has loved us. And we know when we hear things like that, we know almost right away, Jesus said that. Because we spend so much time listening to Jesus' voice, knowing what it, wa what it is that he wants to tell us, who it is he wants us to be. And Jesus is always, always talking about how we need to love and care for each other. And so when we hear things like that, we automatically think of Jesus, and we know exactly who it is we need to follow. So today, my friends, love one another. 
Spend time with your family. Give a call to one of your friends who maybe you haven't seen or talked to for a while and spend some time with them on the phone so you can hear their voice again. Hearing voices is so important. Seeing our friends, hearing them talk to us, remembering all of those wonderful things we do together, taking care of the people we love. Today, spend some time doing all of those things and come back on Wednesday to join me for some more Children's Chapel. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. Go outside, it's beautiful. The blessing of God Almighty, mm. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. All right.